Hello and welcome back to Fem Design video lessons. In this video you will learn how to use draw functions in Fem Design software. You can find all the draw functions from here or you can find them from here from this toolbar. Let's start with the simple draw functions we have here. These are the objects that you can draw in your model without them affecting in your FEM calculation. You have point, which is simple point. Then you will have line. And you will have re rectangle, arc and circle, which all are pretty easy to draw into the model. What we also have is region and solid. I can make a region here, for example, and also I can make a solid. First, I set outlines for that solid, and then I set height for that solid object. Now, I just erase those and move on the next one, which is dimensioning. This is a tool that you will probably need to use a lot. So, in dimensioning, you can do all the uh, measurements in your model and uh, drawing those dimensions to help you guide your modeling work. I just set out of the physical view for this one and here you actually have like multiple options how to do your dimensioning. Like uh, like first we can do like predefined dimensioning and set this to be parallel with global x axis. So when I start adding points here to every end of the column I have here like this and then I just press enter I can see that I have dimensioning line going uh, parallel with x line if I want to do the same with y axis or z axis I can simply select here different axis and click on these endpoints and once again, I click on enter and the dimensioning will appear. You can, of course, you can make arc dimensioning, diameter, radius and angle dimensioning. And you can also make level dimensioning, for example, for your uh, floors. What we can also do, we can, if, if the dimensioning will not go uh, along any axis, we can also have uh, dimensioning parallel with line. Let's just say I want to make dimensioning parallel with this line here. So I just click it here, then I show the direction for the dimensioning, and then I simply press midpoints and endpoints there. And now I can see the dimensioning going according to the line that I defined. If you click here, you can change the dimensioning settings, like how the dimensioning line will be shown, or what kind of line, dimensioning line you will have, or you can change the text and uh, where the text is located according to that dimensioning line. You can also, with the draw functions, you can add text to your model. Let's say I have text here. I type it in here and then I just click it over there and show the direction for my text. And now it is there. You can, for example, you can make comments on your model with this text function to help you remember maybe what you have done in the model or make notes like this. What you will also have is field and field is quite easy. You have predefined text here, like for example, my signature, and I want to place that signature maybe on the drawings that I have in the document. And I just click it here, show the direction, and my signature will appear in here. But that's all for drawing functions. Once again, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.